Hooker has trodden Round these kind of boards Ready. before, these Ready. big fights. It's a little bit newer for Arnold Allen. This fight clock is brought to you by proper number 12 Irish whiskey. So Arnold said this week, pressure. The game plan in this is forward pressure. Look to take him up to the fence and then put him on the ground. Of course, easier said than done. Trains with Faraz Zahavi from TriStar Star in Montreal. Even though they haven't been together, he's been sending all his sparring footage and being critiqued by Faraz Zahavi. So, as I said before on the walk, left no stone and turned in terms of preparation and chipping away nicely with those calf kicks. It's kind of epic that he prepared for this in the UK, Michael, given that it's a, a home spot for him, back with BKK fighters in Colchester where it all began. But he was driving three hours each way to go and get sparring at Team Renegade with the likes of Leon Edwards, Jai Herbert, Tom Breeze. Yeah, just a tremendous team to train with. Oof. And we see right here, Ooh. I mean, look at the side to side. Like, oh, oh, look at the hands. Oh, hands. Wow! Oh, he's cracked him. Oh. to stay in this. No, no, no not no, you, Arnold. Not you, Arnold. You're doing just fine. <laughs> oh, my oh, goodness. Another big one, too, from Arnold Allen. What is keeping Dan Hooker up right now? I mean, that's incredible. We know he's got heart, but I mean, that Arnold is Allen is unleashing on him right now. That's just pure heart. Pure to win. These boys woke up and chose violence. Massive effort out of both the blue and red corner. I mean, that sends a message to Hooker. Hooker's supposed to be the kickboxer, Alan Moore, the well-rounded approach. Oh, he's done it again. Right now, he is teeing off on his face. That knee that Hooker had been polishing just missed the target. And there's some good swelling on the face of Dan. Blood coming out of the nose right now. He did rock Arnold back at some point, but I mean, my goodness. Arnold Allen was unloading on those shots. Well, he's just taking a breather right now because anytime you have that kind of alcohol, you know, it gets tiring. He thought he was going to get a finish there. He was utterly convinced if he continued with the output that Dan Hooker would fall. But he didn't. And then you find yourself... Whoa! But then hits his head and legs! Here we are just again. Big D. dominating victory. Dan Hooker took a battering at the hands of Arnold Allen. And he kicks on in the featherweight division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Overhead, he's called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO! Oh, my God.